What's going on, everybody? Carify King here, Mr. Aqualife. You already know how it is. And, um, we're back. We're back. We have finally, finally come back. And this is the best news that, that could have come. I'm so happy. So, um, on Tuesday's stream, we got revealed that Lambros and Thavis are coming back September 25th, 2020 in the Japanese format. The, it, the set 11 called Heavenly Storm of the Blue Calvary is coming out. Aquaforce looks like we're the feature clan. Well, at least the cover art. I mean, okay, first and foremost, this is the greatest artwork that's ever been printed in Aquaforce I'm, or, or just in Vanguard in general, hands down. Um, Lambros just looks absolutely amazing. And as you guys know, he is my all-time favorite stride card. Um, one of, And probably, like, my all-time favorite card in Aquaforce next to Tidal Assault, like, just him, like, one and two, uh, then Thalvis and whatnot, just or him Tetra Dives and Thalvis, you know. It's just, Lambros is just such a good card. Um, but yeah, so we're getting, so we're getting Lambros back, and we're getting Thavis back, um, and I'm gonna go more into them in a second, but I wanted to preface this by saying that, um, a little bit of a history between these two cards, and as you guys know, I've been playing Aqua Force for seven years, started, you know, started com playing competitively when the deck came out in May 2013, um, I play the deck competitively every, you know, every format, uh, and you guys, you guys know the history of Aqua Force and me on this channel here. But, and I have to say, I'll, Lambros and Thavis during the Vanguard Set 2 meta when, they, when it came out was the strongest deck in the format and the greatest rendition of Aqua Force in the history of our time existing in Vanguard between both formats, Standard and Premium. This was the absolute strongest deck that was in the game at the time and I believe it was our peak when we were at our strongest. Why I say this is because we didn't really have any checks. We didn't have any like it wasn't like link jokers were running around. Um you didn't have a heavy, heavy amount of like Kagro players where Kagro had just come off of amazing support or anything like that. You didn't really have it did the deck didn't really have a, you know, a natural born counter to, you know, the clan and what we wanted to do. Lambros was such a powerful card. It can take you from two to six damage uh, in one turn. Um, it, you, you literally, two to six damage, and I've said this multiple times on the channel on the deck profiles that I've given for, you know, for Lambros, that I can take someone from two to six damage, you know, in a single turn. Um, the whole rendition of the deck, it had draw power, it had multi-attack, it had, you know, Thavis provided some sweet field control, uh, we had cards like High Tide Sniper, Magnum Assault, um, Stacia, who can attack from the back row, so we also had back row attacking to extend the battles, um, that we, you know, that we needed to accomplish. It, the, the deck, to be honest, was, I believe, at the, at its point, in its, in its, what we could consider its most perfect form as to we pretty much got everything we we wanted to get out of the clan during then um and i'm glad to see that they're back i'm definitely glad to see they're back now are they is it going to be the same as before no no everything's changing you know the game whatever no but i'm just glad to see that they're back um i think that the, the, we definitely needed this for standard format we definitely need these two to come out um, I've been asking for this for standard format for so long. Uh, while I liked, while I like Maelstrom, and as you can see here, they gave, um, they gave him the ASR art, which is literally just his artwork from when he released an original set eight. And then the same is going to go for Glory Maelstrom when he released an original set nine, uh, which was the Crossride set. Um, but 
Maelstrom has always been like the training wheels kind of Aqua Force deck, always gets outdated. Glory Maelstrom never really played Aqua Force. Glory Maelstrom just did what he needed to do um, in standard format, plus 10k, Garmanip, uh, no intercepts, and then everybody else tries to do Aqua Force. Uh, and then, you know, we have Ravon, who's Ravon is still pretty good. I mean, Ravon's still pretty good, um, even though he's disappeared in the uh, Asian tournaments and format there with where they have MLB, Next Stage, uh, The Cross, Messiah. My God, Messiah is so good. Um, you know, and like, you know, a lot of other decks, you know, Ravon's kind of like, you know, taking a back seat to all that. You know, I haven't really seen him on any uh, tournament reports uh, even then. So... You know, seeing these guys come back just fills me up with so much joy and excitement for the, you know, for this game in the future. Like, I think this game is heading in the right direction. I think that standard format is getting even better now. Uh, we're moving into G format, which was probably the most fun format next to Legion format. Um, now, a little bit about the actual cards themselves so um i was going to make the video like but i was at work when everything was released during the stream however we got more information about it saying that uh lambros is actually going to be our the first g4 grade four that's going to be entering uh for a non-force clan that we have here and it's going to be our first grade four obviously and thomas is going to be a triple rare grade three now i was you know initially upon hearing that i, I am i am still a little bit worried and confused about how this is going to work work i have a few different ideas but this just has this you know this would mean that whatever skill they give thavis thavis is going to have to is thavis is going to be a powerful triple rare card that's going to have a skill and the strength that matches what a vr should be and i feel like lambros is going to be a card that is going to put that, that you know is going to um be have to you know, obviously play well with thavis and is going to be you know maybe have an over the top really strong um ability uh equipped it to him as well now the reason why i say this is because in that description um it mentions uh you know a harmonious attack you know between both lambros and thavis's you know the, these two bodies it says um so i can think of a number of different ways that this can be printed out thavis is going to be obviously our main ride and uh the target we're going to search for um it looks like we're going to be running into another grade uh, four grade three decks so baragios is probably going to definitely see usage in the deck um most assuredly um well, i hope we do i hope you know when we get nikki who was a previous stride enabler uh if anything evidence from what we've seen so far nikki may be able to like search the top seven for a thavis or a lambros and add it to our hand and then have another ability on top of that that might be the case as well but i think like i said i think thavs is going to have a powerful skill that's going to more or less carry the carry the deck as he's going to be our main ride vanguard just like before um and he's he, now lambros is either going to be a card in which we have an ability that's going to let us stride him somewhat so putting him on the vanguard circle and you know stride him and maybe getting uh like a multi-attack from the vanguard or something to something to that effect or we're going to have a mechanic that's going to be built into thavis uh or and or other cards um in the deck that's going to allow us to call Thavis to the rearguard circle and then like they said like a kind of like a harmonious attack between both him both Thavis and Lambros uh, have by having both of them on the field at the same time then they both get to attack they might be able just to uh, play off of each other so we might be able to see a really nice combo with having both of them on the field at the same time so there's a number of different ways we can take this uh, with the news that Lambros is going to be a great four it really just depends on how Bushi road is going to um design our clan and whatnot what i really what i'm hoping is and they take into consideration the design is that where the way the game is moving right now a lot of decks are popping off on turn three um you know vanquisher you know has like access to things like jaggy shot and whatnot you see messiah with the uh with the um genesis machine deity the their grade four card that is just absolutely dumb but an alter ego being able to just pop off on turn three you see the cross doing what he does on turn three um 
you know, so we are going to ne definitely need a card that's going to allow us to have an extremely strong and effective turn three. And I want to say probably something, you know, stronger than what we even have with Ravon because Ravon is, you know, can can do well on turn three um, and sustain on that. But, you know, for his full power to be reached, it needs to be he needs to, um, you know, be available for you on turn four. So I'm really hoping that this deck is a deck that can go off then as well. And they keep that in mind when they design these cards as well um but yeah i'm very excited about it um like i said there could be a number of ways they can do this thing with thought with Thalvis being the main grade three and lambros being the main grade four my final thoughts in a way uh on this revealed information is that um Thavis is going to need to have an is, is going to need to have a strong ability and his worth as a triple rare as our main grade three vanguard that we're going to ride is going to need to, is going to have to have the strength and skill of a V of what we see out of VRs that generally carry the clans. And I believe Lambros is going to, you know, magnify Thavis in some way, shape, or form and just have another over the top of you know, have an over the top ability that's, you know, even that's even that's even stronger for for mentioning about how powerful the deck is when recreating Jaime's fight and things like that. So I'm looking forward to what Aqua Force is going to bring to the table with this uh, maelstrom getting the asr rarity is i guess cool and all he may get a card or two but that play style that deck is has been outdated for quite a while even to now and it's going to be even more outdated when that stuff comes out and it's really just going to be like you know a fun deck that you play on the side not something that you would seriously consider taking to a tournament these days so um, you know, that's that. But again, I'm looking forward to Lamb the return of Lambie Bambi, my boy Thavis. Let's go. Aqualife, baby. You already know how it is. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm extremely, extremely, extremely excited um, about this. The artwork is clean. It is crisp. And uh, Lambie Bambi's back. Same with my boy Thavis. And we're out.